today. From Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. It's week three of the NFL on EA Sports. Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs taking on Justin Herbert and the L.A. Chargers. From one of the loudest venues in the NFL, there's a look at Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. The scene just a few moments ago, predictably loud and raucous here in KC as their beloved Chiefs took the field, and they are set to match up with the Los Angeles Chargers. from last week's contest. Nine carries, 54 yards. And that's just not enough carries for a running back to get loose and really feel like he's into the game because they have to have enough volume to establish a rhythm, not just for themselves, but also to get in sync with their offensive line so they can read the blocks properly and they can execute. I expect them to get a minimum of 15 carries in this game, and the optimum number would be 20 plus. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler, and Eckler will not get there. Great defense at the point of attack, going to stop him short of the first down. No gain on the play there, a nice job defensively, and it likely forces a punt situation on fourth. Now on is the punter long here as he sends this one away. Here's Hardman to return. That'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And the Chiefs are going to take over with a long field ahead and a first and 10. They'll run for the first time with Clyde Edwards-Alaire. And he'll manage to break a tackle and get this forward for a couple. It'll be second down. Now a look at Smith. Not sure exactly what happened, but he's still down. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to KC. There he goes, right side. 20, 10. Showtime, baby. All the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 89 yards. And the Chiefs on just two plays have taken the lead. Well, you've got to like that start on both sides of the football. You force the three and out, and then you score on your first drive. Well, I know someone who doesn't like that start. Well, yeah, the other side. Yeah, they don't like that at all, <laughs> right? This is not the way it's supposed to be. But what you just described, that's team football. All right, when you get a three and out, you're supposed to take advantage of it on the offensive side of the ball. You said, thank you very much for getting us the rock. Let's put it in the end zone, and they did exactly that. Extra point by Butker is on target. And that makes the score 7-0. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. He'll going to sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. 
So for the Chargers, yeah, it's their first meeting this year against the AFC champs. And these two division rivals, they go back to the AFL days. But this, Charles, it's kind of a measuring stick game, you feel like, for a young Chargers team. It certainly is because when you match up with Kansas City, who has dominated in recent years, and feels like they'll continue to dominate for the foreseeable future, you've got to have a reason for optimism. And this team, under new management with a new head coach, and they feel like they've made some great strides in free agency in the draft. They feel like they can go ahead and start pursuing Kansas City once again. The play fake to Eckler, it's Herbert. Blitz coming and down he goes. Frank Clark fighting his way home to get the sack. Good play there by Frank Clark. Only six sacks in 2020, the fewest since his rookie year of 2015. But don't let that small number fool you. Provides consistent pressure against quarterbacks, a pro bowler the last two seasons. Third and long, it's Herbert. And that will be incomplete. Looks like a second empty possession to start the game. It's certainly not the way you want to start when you're coming off of a loss last week. Every team talks about starting fast. They're hoping on their next possession, it can be a delayed fast start and get them going. Hardman on the return. Shedding the tackler and it gives him some room. Oh, still going. That looked for a second like he might take it all the way, but as it stands, it's still a return and the Chiefs will have excellent field position here as they take over. First and ten, it's Edwards Alaire with it. A strong running. And he's gonna get this inside the 30. Give him 13 yards there and a Kansas City first down. Clyde Edwards Alaire is a do-it-all back and he did plenty on that run and as a rookie 803 yards rushing for the season in Kansas City may look to up his workload a little bit in year two. The last pick of the first round in 2000. And that's caught. It's Kelsey. Touchdown, Kansas City. Travis Kelsey, his fourth touchdown of the year. And the Chiefs are off to a 13-0 first quarter lead. And that was a beautiful ball right there as he waited for his tight end to come uncovered in the end zone to give him points for patience as well. Delivered it right where it needed to be for six points. Butker on for the PAT. And it's good to make it 14-0. In a one play drive, but I think they'll take it. The scoring summary two plays and into the end zone. stick game but I think when it comes within your division like this it's a measuring stick game with a little extra intrigue I would agree with that totally because all division games have a little extra to them but I like where this game is situated because at this stage of the season it has that little extra juice but at the same time it's not a make or break if this were let's say week 15 16 somewhere in that neighborhood to Sean Wharton the one to get him to the ground on the defensive side well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Eckler going to get it again on second down. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. It's a gain of 11 and a first down L.A. I have to admit, I'm excited by that play call and the end result because this is a team that's down big early in the first quarter. 
and a lot of teams will just panic, abandon the playbook, and just start firing the ball all over the place. It's way too early for that. Stick to what works for you. Down double digits, and we talked about their game plan being both running and passing there. You're right. They're sticking to the game plan, getting the ground game going. A lot of football left to be played. Setting up to throw on first down. It's Williams on the catch. Three yards the gain there, second down. Fourteen nothing the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Second down, Eckler. And he'll get this up past the 45 of the 47. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. On third down, here's Eckler. And he's brought down, but not before picking up the first with a very effective stiff arm. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. That's a tremendous group effort there, because when you talk about offensive lines, the best ones, talk about guys that play in harmony, in sync, and getting things done, and they did that on that play. Yeah, especially on third and one. Got to be in sync, and they were. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. Now room for Eckler. And some room to maneuver. And finally taken down at the 20-yard line. 59 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. You know, I have a pretty good friend, Charles Davis, who tells me that when he sees plays like that, strong runs to the right, reminds him of the 1960s Green Bay Packers. Boy, those were the days back when the fullback actually carried the ball as well as blocked. Then you had a halfback. You had pulling guards, guys who could get out and run. And you can hear the great coach saying it back then. So we get a seal here and a seal here, and we run this play right in the alley. Running on first down, Eckler. It was Jaron Reed who got him down. He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. What we call run fits, everyone was in the right place. And he'll get about three as he's taken down at the 14-yard line. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to Arrowhead. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs, able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. And his kick here is good. They will get themselves on the board here at 14 to 3. So three drives now for this offense, and that field goal gives them their first three points. So if you're an offensive coordinator and you're averaging a point a drive, you're in the wrong line of work, aren't you? <laughs> you got to find a way to yeah. unlock the key to these defenses and put some big points on the board. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Travis Kelsey and the Chiefs set to take over again. The early returns for him, very good to start this season. Interesting to see if he can keep up that Torres pace. Yeah, when you're talking about averaging 100 yards a game as a receiver, extrapolate that over 16 games, and you're having a monster season. So, yeah, you love what he's doing early, but I think it's got to go back to the offseason, doesn't it? It's got to go back to the roots, spending time with the guys going to throw the ball to him, spending time watching tape, spending time reading defenses, and, of course, getting himself ready to play. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. He'll get three up to midfield. 
Not the kind of game that will go absolutely crazy for him, but it's the kind of game that you need to have when you're running back in the NFL and Clyde Edwards Alaire with that low center of gravity and strength. He's gonna get those tough, gritty yards for you when necessary. Mahomes on target there to Hill. play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. And going deep for Hill. And at the seven-yard oh, line, the catch is made. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Tyreek Hill with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Chiefs add on to their lead. So simple math here in the first half. They've had three drives offensively, and they have scored every time, and they've got the lead. Well, whenever we talk about adjustments, we usually talk about an offense making adjustments, right? This is all about the defense. They've got to figure out some way, somehow, to slow them down. Do they blitz a little bit more? Do they play more zone coverage? Right now, they don't know where to go because they're hitting them in every direction. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. The Charger drive about to get going. And this, let's face it, an important drive if they're going to get back into this ballgame. Think about going into the locker room down 21 to 10 as opposed to 21 to 3. 21 to 10, a little more optimism, a little more bounce around the locker room, a little more discussion about how they're going to finish this thing off. 21 to 3, I think discouragement clouds that locker room. Yeah, and I think a touchdown much bigger than a field goal on this drive just to get into the end zone and get that momentum. And not much to speak of. Call it a one yard gain up to the 26. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. Uh, nowhere to go for Herbert, and he's going to go down. The second round pick with Seattle. He provides a lot of push inside. Ended up signing with Kansas City in April after five seasons with the Seahawks. Six and a half sacks in 2020 with a career high of 10 and a half in 2018. And did they keep it in? They did. They kept it in. It's down and close to the goal line at the one yard line. Tyreek Hill making his way back out towards the huddle. And they've got to figure out how to stop some of the highlights. Amazing. Perfectly placed. If that ball goes one extra yard, maybe not even an extra yard, the starting point is the 20. So there is a reason that a lot of punters are also excellent golfers. They know distance control. You know what else they have? Same groove motion over and over. Once they have that down, it repeats under pressure. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try it. He's got a man complete. The 30, 10, and in for the Chiefs touchdown. Tyreek Hill on his way to a monster game. Three first half touchdowns. And the Chiefs are able to add on to their first half lead. That score that they just gave up there, that's a tough one for their defense to swallow because they've had a tough time through the first two quarters. They really were determined to get a stop there. Unable to do so, that makes their comeback hopes that much more difficult. Butker now to add the extra point. And they open the lead up now to 25 points. Those are the ones the offensive coordinators dream about. One play drives from that distance. What an effort. It results in the touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Very short kick. This will be taken by one of the young men. And they'll be set up pretty nicely here as they have it up to the 35-yard line. Getting set to go again here on offense. Keenan Allen marches back onto the field. You better believe that he's well aware he has zero catches right now, and they're losing, so he's probably a little hungry. And you know the guys on defense are aware as well, and they're really excited that he has no catches, but they're also worried because a lot of times, just like the ticking time bomb, the longer you hold him down, when he finally explodes, look out. Yeah, no catches, though, so far in this game. 
Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Back to throw here, Herbert. Finding Williams once more, complete. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. And just a yard to go here on second down. Herbert. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Cook. Herbert hooking up with Cook for an L.A. first. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Let's go, A final shot before the break for Herbert. And this will be incomplete. One second left to go. Jalen Guyton, the intended receiver, but it's going to be second down. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. And his kick is right there. It's good, and that will do it for this first half. So we've come upon halftime here in Arrowhead with the Chiefs on top. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Time to give you folks at home a look around the NFL on this first official weekend of fall. So let's get to it. We'll begin in the AFC South. It's Indianapolis on the road at Tennessee. And it's the Titans out in front in that one. Ryan Tannehill's throwing a touchdown there. From there, let's get to the Meadowlands to check on the Giants at home at MetLife Stadium. And at this point, they trail the visiting Atlanta Falcons. Matt Ryan with three touchdown passes there. Lastly, let's get to Pittsburgh. Check on the Steelers at home at Heinz Field. And they've got the lead in their ball game over the visiting Cincinnati Bengals. Ben Roethlisberger has thrown a couple of touchdown passes. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back-and-forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half? For the answer, we turn it back over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Ready for the start of the third quarter. The Chiefs have the lead and set to receive the football. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And they're going to have lousy starting field position as he's out of bounds at his six-yard line. Anytime you feel the kickoff inside your own end zone, you've got to be decisive about whether you're bringing it out or not. Sometimes that indecision can really cost you. That may have been what happened on that play. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And it's hard to imagine that the first half could have gone any better for them. So what's the approach here in the second half? Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. The 20. I'm only going to be able to carry it so far. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Demarcus Robinson, 94 yards. And the Chiefs come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. Okay, we need to double check here with Marvin because he keeps all of our good stats. But what I've got is... Five drives, five touchdowns, and they've got a nice, healthy lead. Well, after the first drive, we thought things might be clicking. They're really clicking at this point. They're clicking about as much as they can click. And right I just now, said click a lot. Yes, you did, but that's okay because the guy who's coordinating the defense, trying to slow them down, Good luck. he's going to have hair that looks like mine very soon. Not much of it. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. From just inside the 20, a short kick. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Charger drive about to get going. They have been struggling. I would imagine at halftime they went through some possible changes. Well, those changes aren't working, so now where do you go? I think that now it's much more in their head. And what I mean by that is, 
just what you said. You're going over the changes. I bet they were pretty clinical at the half, not too emotional. They might need to go to the emotional <laughs> side because you've got to find something, some spark somewhere. And so far, just being calm hasn't exactly worked. They need any spark at this point. That his first catch so far. They've held him under wraps, but he's got a first down there. Now it's Herbert. He'll get this out wide to Eckler. And he's got some space here. And this will set them up nicely deep down at KC territory. Every defensive staff harps on limiting explosive plays. Job not so well done there. Yeah, they talk about it all the time. A lot harder to see. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. Austin Eckler, his second touchdown on the season. And the Chargers, they're able to cut into that deficit. So it was the passing game that got him down here, but closer to the goal line, it's the running game that gets him home. Certainly appears that they lulled the defense into thinking that the passing game was going to be it the entire drive. Nice change up there going to the running game to get him over the goal line. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. The Chiefs offense and Tyreek Hill heading back out onto the field. Well, this defense, they wouldn't mind not seeing him again for a while. <laughs> Three trips to the end zone. How about that? I think right now they would happily go to their general manager and say, is there any way you could get a trade for him, bring him over to our team so we don't have to cover him anymore because he is really having a heck of a ball game, isn't he? Boy, he is. I don't know that a mid-game trade is going to happen, but good thing. He was trying to get it to Tyreek Hill that time. And now it's second down. And he'll get this into the hands of Hill complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one covers 29 yards, first down. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want more victim to it themselves. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. 39 yards there, a big one. Well, make that now two completions for him on this drive, and these aren't ordinary completions. They're big ones. Yeah, these are the types that make a secondary talk to each other and not in a good way, oftentimes pointing fingers. Hey, who's got him? Someone cover him. That type of indecision can open up to even more big plays. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. And he will score. Touchdown, Kansas City. Tyreek Hill, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. Just a great individual effort there to take that pop pass and scamper off into the end zone. And that's why offenses love that play partner because that gives them a chance to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers with a full head of steam behind them. It's open like a track relay. Legs two, three, and four. That first guy steaming ahead, and he has hands it to you. Menu narration option is set to off. Menu narration option is set to off. Menu narration option is set to off. You get a chance to take off and go before you even get the baton. He's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. He'll get to think better of bringing this one out, and the drive will start at the 25. Off 
Austin Eckler and the Charger offense reclaimed center stage. And the numbers for him, pretty solid, really. He's run it well. He's caught it pretty well, but they're still far behind the eight ball on the scoreboard. Not able to use his talents, as you noted, to narrow the gap in the scoreboard. Sometimes it's a bend but don't break, right? He gets his yardage. That's cool, but it's not paying off on the scoreboard. They're not getting the points necessary. And if you're a defensive team, you give up that yardage for the kind of lead they have. That's what I was going to ask you. Sometimes you say, let this guy do his thing. Let's control what we can control elsewhere. Yeah, exactly. Take away the rest of the guys. Don't let them hurt you as well. But the biggest one is they've contained them well enough that they've been able to increase their lead. Here's Herbert. And that is incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. And the punt team on now as this one sent away. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. Tyreek Hill making his way back out towards the huddle. Previous series, definitely a focal point. Three catches, the touchdown grab. As a DB, your former DB, is there a number of catches on a drive you're like, oh, he got the best of us? I'm not sure there's a number, but there's a great feel. And what he did on the last drive, yeah. Especially with a touchdown. <laughs> yes. You're never way, happy. You're exactly right. The way he capped it off. So you feel that at the sideline, and now you're looking at your buddies and saying, okay, what are we going to do to take things away from him? Because I'm not sure the other guys can make it. And this is caught. Touchdown. Tyreek Hill. Chiefs get another third quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. And that touchdown reception is the fifth for him in this game, and that ties the NFL record. And a record that's held up since 1950. This is another person that's tied it, but think about this. Bob Shaw said it in 1950. Kellen Winslow came along and tied it. And then, of course, Jared Rice tied it as well. And finally, we're seeing it here one more time. Phenomenal. Extra point by Butker is on target. And the lead will swell by one more. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Hill going to sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. Now the Chargers offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. They've got to dig down deep. I mean, they need something right now, really anything to cling on to. This offense has struggled. Partner, join me in a walk to their locker room at the half, okay? Because I think what we would have seen is an offensive coordinator and his and his.